All right, guys, welcome to um, the next part of the lab, which has to do with light polarization. We just got done with uh, refractive with uh, image formation, and now we're going to talk about polarization. I will expand on uh, what polarization is all about, but in the meantime, I'm going to just show you the experiment. Uh, you would have watched the video before you watched this experiment. so. What are the tools we're going to use here? The tools are really basic, okay? Uh, <clears throat> we're going to have a light bulb, which again will be the source of light. We're going to have a reflective surface, which in this case is your workstation. I know it's black in color and most essential will absorb light by the nature of its color but as we have learned with reflection surfaces ab uh, reflect and transmit light so part of the light will be reflected and so the goal will be to adjust the light bulb in such a way that the image of the light bulb is seen on the reflective surface so we've added to this setup a transparent glass plate right a, a glass tile and the objective is to be able to clearly see the uh, image of the light bulb on the table. So that's your glass block, that's your light bulb, and we're using meter sticks to do the measurements. And then you, you can see the meter sticks on the, on the station. What I want to show you here is called a Polaroid. It allows us to polarize light rays. Polarizing light rays is like, it's, it's, it's not, it's filtering them based on the the, the 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 spin of the photons or the direction of the, the the direction of the spins of the photons let me explain usually you filter light light based on the color but sometimes you can filter light based on the direction of the spin in the photon the photons are elements of light and some of them usually are either horizontal or vertical not some, all. They're either horizontal or vertical. And sometimes what you want are only the horizontal ones. And sometimes what you want are only the vertical ones. That is, you only want photons that have spins in the horizontal direction or photons that only have spins in the vertical direction. A Polaroid allows you to filter those. If you want only the vertical, the, the photons with vertical spins, the Polaroid will allow you to get those. If you want only want the photons with the horizontal spin, the Polaroid is going to allow you to get, get that as well. So we're going to use the Polaroid to filter um, and then take the measurements, the data we need to collect for the calculation in this lab. So I'm going to put you guys right here. Put the camera right here, not you guys. Put the camera right here so you guys can watch what is going to happen. Uh, I'm going to make sure uh, we get the best experience out of this. So there we go. If I move you guys like this, which is where I will be standing, all right? If I move you guys like this, that's where I'll be standing. You can see the light right there, okay? That pond or that puddle, if you want to call it, the puddle of photons right here, emanates from the light bulb so that's the objective we want it to be here we want it to be there in such a way that it sits uh let's see if we can adjust it we want the middle stick to sit right there so let's scoot this over is that better there wasn't much change let's go the other way to really do is move the light source like that. All right, I think. All right, so if you look approximately the, the this meter stick, this one right here, the tip is inside your puddle. What you really want is for that tip to be in the center of your light puddle, right in the center. So let me see if I can make that it's hard for me to use the camera and adjust this so I'm really trying here let's 
uh, that didn't get better. Did not. Yeah, that is perfect. Awesome. So the the tip of the meter stick is at the center of that puddle. What do I do next now? What you see is light rays coming out of the light bulb, striking the glass tile or the glass plate, however you want to call it, and reflecting. So part of it will be transmitted into the table, but part of it will be reflected. The reflected part come, will come towards the observer, and the observer will use the Polaroid to filter what light um, he wants to handle, right? So when light leaves the light source, you have both vertical and horizontal spins in the photons. When it bounces off, it's the same thing. You have both vertical and horizontal spins in the photons. But with a Polaroid, we'll be able to isolate a certain group of photons, either just the vertical or just the horizontal. And when we do that, that will provide us with the data that we need for our calculations. The data we need for calculations are the distance from the puddle to where the observer is standing and the height from the surface to the eye of the observer. So you need two measurements. One of the measurements here will be the distance from the puddle to where the observer is standing, which in this case is one meter. And I will conduct the experiment. You watch me doing it, and we will determine what is the height from the surface to the eye of the observer. Going to put the camera here and make sure I adjust it so you guys can see what's happening. So I had to make some adjustments here because uh, your perspective from the camera is not what I see, right? I had to move the light bulb to make sure that the puddle is at the center of my um, glass tile or my glass plate. The adjustment I made was for you to see what it really looks like, but I had to re-put it in the right position because what I see is not necessarily what the camera transcribes, okay? So I have my light puddle in the center. You probably are not seeing it in the center right now, but it's no biggie. Uh, then the next thing I will do, and I hope the camera will ask you to see me do it. So I'll stand right here and I hold my Polaroid. Let me bring you guys closer. Maybe this will work for you. So this is my Polaroid. And I will use my Polaroid to look at the, at the table, at the surface of which I'm working on. It's kind of hard to, uh, this is a particularly tricky lab because I'm not sure you guys get to see what I see. Okay, so you can see the puddle on the glass tile and I put the Polaroid there. Can you guys still see that? All right. Might have to move you guys a little bit lower. Let's see. You guys can see the puddle. And you can see. Uh, okay, you can see the phenomenon. You will not be able to see exactly what I see, but you will see the phenomenon. What will happen here is the, the puddle will get brighter or dimmer. And my objective here. My objective here is to, I'll start down 
here uh, you can see my polaroid is a little bit lower and i will spin the polaroid clockwise and counterclockwise until the light puddle right gets as dim as possible right so I don't know if you see the phenomenon, but I see from here, and I hope you do, it gets dim up to a certain point. Okay. This, this is the dimmest it can get. And I try to go up until it gets dimmer. So I've done two things. The first thing is, I looked at the puddle through my Polaroid. Then I spin the Polaroid, I spun it, in this case counterclockwise and it diminished the brightness of the puddle I made sure the, the puddle got as dim as possible right and then I moved vertically to find the spot where it's dimmer as compared to so if I'm down here it's dimmer if I go up it gets I'm down here it's dim if I go up it gets dimmer when I'm down here, if I rotate the other way, you see it gets bright. So the first thing was to rotate it and make it dim, as dim as possible, then move upward and make it even dimmer. All right, this is a sweet spot. This is where it gets really dim, this height right here. So I'm going to measure the height of the height, the distance between the center of my Polaroid and the surface from which the light is reflected. Let me try to do this. Okay. Alright, in the sweet spot. So this is about 47 centimeters. I really hope you guys were able to see what happened. So to recapitulate, we have light leaving the light source, striking the surface, creating kind of a blur, which I call a light puddle. And I'm one meter away from that blur and I look at the puddle through a Polaroid. And I rotate the Polaroid so that it filters some of the polarized light it polarizes the light that is the right word filter is just an analogy because it has to do with filtering light based on the direction of the spin in the photons but the real term is polarized so it selects what polarity it lets through so i will spin my polaroid and minimize the light that goes through making sure that i let only light of a certain polarity to go through and when I'm done spinning the Polaroid, I will move it vertically to even further dim the light I'm seeing through the Polaroid. So spinning it made it dim, and I'll lift, I'll make it rise up to make it dimmer, and I'll stop at the dimmest point. And we found out that the distance between the center of the Polaroid and my end of my workstation, when I got the dimmest view of the light of, of the puddle, or of the light of, of the glare, if you want to call it a glare, it's fair, is 47 centimeters. So the two dimensions I needed was one meter and 47 centimeter. This data should help you um, conduct or compute uh, the results for the polarization of light.